consumer is that I want to find products that are going to stop the destruction of the planet, stop the destruction of the environment. So one thing that comes back to this, the consumer products, is is it going to be good for our planet? Is it going to be good for us? And I can't always say that everything will be. Our society is ingrained in its ways and it's very difficult to change, but as manufacturers and enterprising individuals, entrepreneurs, we have to come together and find solutions that are going to be good for the planet and good for the people. They're also concerned about the uh, lack of available water, so conservation of water um, and protecting of water is really important, as well as the packaging. Certainly we see the trend changing quite a bit in how the market is finding product. Uh, today, certainly the online research goes into the buy, and when you have a, a really good backup of people that have used your product, that will talk about it on social media, that makes a big difference in their buying decision. If you look at the personal care aisle, 20 years ago, there were no men's and women's anything. It was, you know, everyone used Sure Deodorant or Bic Razor or Pert Shampoo. Everything is completely split now uh, between men's and women's. And it's happening in the soda aisle. Um, if you look at Pepsi Max and Coke Zero and Dr. Pepper 10, those are all guys' diet sodas. And you will walk around the grocery store, it's really starting to, you know, men's taste, women's taste. And so we're just uh, looking to bring that to the cleaning products aisle.